is everyone doing today? I hope you're all having a fantastic day. My name is Odie Matthews. Welcome back to my channel on this website that we like to call www. I didn't come up with a clever name this time, .com slash youtube.edu. And today, we are going to take a look at another new product from Boundary Supply. They've been popping up all over my YouTube channel because they just got killer products coming out left and right. And this time, we're gonna take a look at the Arc Light Sling. Let's get into it. Okay, so I said I wasn't going to get the arc light sling, but I changed my mind. I had some requests for it, saw some people using it. I figured I would get it, try it, and let you guys know about it. So um, let's uh, let's get into it. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is rattle off some wonderful information about the materials that this thing is made from. All right. So we got uh, 500D Kodra woven with nylon six, 420 high tenacity hypalon and 210D HT Nylon Kodra Barricade with DWR. This thing has a laptop compartment that will fit up to a 15 inch MacBook Pro or the port kit if you so choose. If you don't know about their port kit, check out my last video where I went through a bunch of um, cool dippity dop kits and I mentioned the port kit and give you kind of a close in depth look at that. So go check that out if you want. But look, this thing has easy access, killer compartment, great storage, a laptop compartment, and a really, really cool, convenient, looks like there's a lot going on here, but a really nice uh, sling system with a great backing on the, on the air channel, wonderful zips. Again, Boundary Supply, they're errant, they're Prima, they're Duffel, they're Eris, all their materials are insanely good. Now, the only thing is, this is similar to like the Prima, the Errant, and the Duffel, the, the Aris has a whole different kind of material that they, that they did on that. So, but if you have your Aris, or if you have the Aris, this has the same kind of like the Kodra, this wonderful feeling material, you know it's gonna last, it's Boundary Supply. Let's be real, uh, they, they make great things, they make great products. I mean, there's just no, just no denying that. So with that, let's, uh, let's dive into the pockets, the straps, the air channel, and show you everything there is about this uh, biggity bag. So the first thing is handles. Now we don't really get to talk about that when it comes to slings. I did uh, a sling a little while ago, the Psycop day sling. Don't have a lot of slings, I own two. In fact, I own two, this one and the, and the Psycop. And the nice thing about this is you've got two wonderful grab handles on the sides and then a nice bigger guy up here at the top that makes this thing have three easy access points besides just grabbing the strap here which i like on a sling this is like a i would say this is like more a medium size sling and the psychop one that i did would be more of a smaller sling for a medium sized sling i like that they added some more points of access you know just small little little webbing material here but i like that there are multiple access points when you're grabbing and going with this thing especially as like a carry-on or in your car. I've used this on um, at work and I've used this on a hike, which you probably saw some of those wonderful promo <laughs> photos of the, or videos of the hike. Um, killer for all things. Another thing you've got is since the sling is a little bit bigger, even though it doesn't wear like a backpack, you've got a back channel here that is honestly killer for what you're getting with this sling. What you've got here is this back channel here, right? And it has these this nice breathe channel in the middle, breathe channel in the middle, I don't know what I'm saying. This it has the air channel in the middle and this nice foam here on the sides. Even though it doesn't completely wear like a backpack, like I said, this still makes it really nice if you're gonna be using this thing like I did on a hike, nice and sweaty and whatnot, this works really well. On top of that, coupled with that, is this wonderful sling. Now, my biggest issue, and I don't, I don't know if you have this issue, is um, I'm a lefty because I um, don't wear them like normal people because lefties aren't normal people. I mean, I can say that because I am a lefty, so 
you're a lefty, you know what I'm talking about. And so I like what they did on this. And this is one thing I really, really want to highlight is I've got multiple straps here. I'm going to unhook this. This is like a stabilizer strap. We'll get to it. But with the way this sling system is, right, you actually have the ability to switch it to either side so you can sling it over your left or over your right. And then because this is super easy to switch back and forth, you can then easily put the stabilizer, which is what this thing kind of does. And again, I'm going to show you this on me in a second. Kind of just keeps it from falling all over the place. You can put the stabilizer on the other point of access. So now your sling has become for both areas. You can do left or right. And I like that depending on how you like to carry your sling, how you like to have your access, which on this thing makes it really easy because these zippers go to the same thing. Again, we'll get to all that. Don't worry, just a little sizzle. So I really like that. For one, this is a wonderful strap. It's comfortable. It's just like the backpack strap that they that they have. It's it's wonderful. Don't really need to talk much about that. But I like that they made it to where, depending on how you wear the sling, you can wear it either way. And with that, I have this set up to go how I wear a sling. I'm going to stand up, cut my head off, and I'm going to show you how this thing works. Now I sling over my left to right, I guess is how you would say that, right? And this is how this thing wears. And again, you got this little stabilizer here that you can adjust and then it kind of keeps it a little bit, you know, without this. You got, it's a little loosey, but it, it kind of keeps it intact. And then this is what it looks like on me, and I am 5'8", 165 pounds, and this is what it looks like on me. Comfortable, easy to get into, I like that it's just magnet, boom, doing my stuff, get back into it, and then, uh, magnet, how do they, there we go. Another thing is, you got a quick release here on this buckle with their wonderful little mag fit locks that they've got going on here. So you got easy if you want to just like that. Okay, so I'll be honest with you, I typically don't wear this little stabilizer strap uh, just because I don't really have a need for it. So your mileage will vary depending on how you like to carry, but it is an accessory that they have that comes with it. If you so choose to use it, I personally just run it with regular sling. And like I said, you do have this fit lock here. Make it nice and easy, and it's super easy to adjust. So that is the strap, harness, and carry system on this thing. And now we're gonna dive into the pockets. Even though there's not a lot, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna talk about them because that's that's what we that's what we do here, I think. I'm asking, I'm asking you, is that what we're supposed to do? I have no idea anymore. I'm losing my mind with all this stuff that's going on. Are you losing your mind? Let me know. I'd be interested because I feel like I'm losing my mind. So there are some accessory points on this bag that I want to point out. Now, this one is a black strap. I just grabbed this off the Aris pack that I have. Um, they have ones that I think that actually like match and stuff. If not, the black on 10 I think looks pretty good. But you do have points of access. One, two, and then you have two more right here if you want to add accessory straps and attach smaller items to this, you absolutely could. So I just wanted to point that out. That's why this is here right now. So with that, we're gonna get into the front compartment. Now, what I like about this is you've got two zippers, one on either side, and this does run all the way through, which is what I was saying, that depending on what shoulder you have it on, as far as the outside access, this pocket, this front pocket, you can get to it from either side. So no matter how you wear your pack, you are going to be able to get into this front compartment. And there's some killer internal organization. What I've thrown in here is just a little notebook, my bamboo silverware. And I think that's pretty much it because I couldn't really fit anything else in here. But I'm going to do my very best to show you what's inside of here. Uh, it's going to be kind of tricky though. Just a heads up. It might look like crap. Okay, so what you've got here is a little compartment here to fit things. This is where I had put my bamboo silverware just right there and then two elastic bits if you wanted to add pins. Then you've got, if you can see it right here is a little nipple clip for their accessories that they have. 
Um, they have like little key clips and stuff like that. And then if you flip this thing around, you have the exact same thing. A little pocket here and then two mesh um, elastic, not mesh, elastic bits. Uh, yeah, so that's the whole point of this internal compartment, just like that. And that is why I really like this because you have access to everything on either side of this little compartment. Super cool, and I should mention, and I didn't mention, and I apologize, but there are WeatherGuard uh, YKK zips on all the zips on this, so that's cool too. The next thing you have, and I'm not gonna really show you close up, is just behind the main compartment here is a quick access um, where I've put sunglasses, and I've also put uh, my AirPod Pros. It's a little deep of a pocket, it's about my whole hand, and it does have a, like a fleece or felt type lining, so very confident in keeping my sunglasses in there and then not getting scratched, but it's just right up here at the top between this is the laptop compartment and then the main compartment here. So with that, also the laptop compartment, I'm just gonna pull this out. I have, this is not mine, I stole this from a little kid. Just kidding, I didn't steal it from a little kid. They're a big kid, they fought back, okay? So I earned it. That's the rule. If you fight a kid and you win, you get to keep their stuff. Everybody knows that. Uh, this is her 15 inch MacBook Pro and it fits uh, nicely in this compartment here, right? And then behind that you've got two um, elastic bits if you wanted to put something else. But nice 15 inch laptop compartment. Will not fit a 17 inch, but will fit a 13 inch or a 10 inch or an eight inch, or 15 inch, but not anything bigger than that. So like I said, 15 inch MacBook Pro fit in there quite nicely. Okay, now, let me get into the main compartment of this thing. We're breezing through this, man. It's like, it's quick, 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 but hey, just how it goes sometimes. So you got another big, I love these clips on, on boundary supplies. They're just, love them, love them. Just, you hear that? Can you, anyways. Open this up. I packed this thing out with just um, kind of an example of what you could do with this thing. Uh, not typically what I would carry with it, just because I wanted to show you, A, kind of what it looked out fully packed out, but also just the kind of accessories you can put in here. So I put a tech pouch, my new favorite tech pouch also, by the way. This is from the guys over at Monarch, live on Kickstarter with their duffel from the Cetra series. Check out that if you want to. Um, it ends in like a week. But I uh, love this tech pouch, my new favorite, hands down, easily, fantastic what they're doing over here. Go check out their Kickstarter if you're in the market for an awesome duffel bag and check out my review if you want to. But I put their tech pouch fully loaded with like my iPad, my Switch. If you go look at the video, um, just jump to the this and everything that's in that video I have in here now. So I put this in there, but then but wait, I did something else. I've got a prototype boundary supply hemp packing cube, right? And on their new Kickstarter and soon to be on their website, they're gonna have these. And this is like their medium sized one. And what I did is I was just like, hey, what would happen if I just packed this out real quick for like, I don't know, say two days, overnight, right? An overnight trip. If I didn't take my tech pouch, I took my small gravel dop kit. Again, check out my dop kit video. But uh, if I took just like a small packing cube and a small tech pouch or a small dop kit, could this thing work with my laptop? And if I wanted to, if I wanted to, I could throw my tech here in this front compartment and would this thing work as like a quick overnight sling? Answer, yes, absolutely. I didn't do the, the, the dop kit because I wanted to show you the tech pouch, but with a small packing cube, like a small nomadic, the small peak might work, but it's kind of long, just a small square-ish packing cube. Throw that in there with just like a couple shirts, pair of pants, underwear, socks. It's basically all I have really in here. It'll fit nicely in this main compartment here. And you could easily use this as an overnight, sorry, I really had to crack my neck, as, a, as an overnight sling. And that is the beauty of this. This thing works really, really well as an overnight bag, a small overnight bag, uh, a carry, daily carry, commute, a work, 
uh, gym even if you really wanted to. This thing has some multi-function to it, and that's, I mean, that's it. That's, that's the inside of this thing. There's no, there's no compartments in here. One thing I will say is, ooh, did you hear that? That's what I was gonna try to show you. There are magnets, so if you can, it, it does, <laughs> has that nice magnet closing to make it easier to fold, to fold this down. So you've got magnet closing. I did see a picture um, of someone, they had put their groceries in this. They took it to the grocery store and they had put like a couple bags of groceries in this thing. So like, that's pretty dope, right? Like using this as a grocery bag? I never would have thought of that. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's, I think that's basically it for this thing. Uh, pretty much, that's, that's, that's the sling. There's not much to it, but there's a lot to it. You know what I mean? Also, oh, before I forget, because I get this question a lot on some bags. There is a spot here, down here at the bottom, where you can clip a light if you're a biker. Um, ding, ding, biker. You could clip your light so you have your reflective light um, for when you're biking. There is a spot there, and then you could also clip one on the handle if you wanted to. So I always like to make sure I throw a mention out to that to all the, the bikers out there. But, um, oh, there are magnets at the bottom. That was the other thing. So it if it's fully expanded, you don't have to worry about it. But when it's not, these kind of close down a little bit, if you can see that, right? So you can have that more minimal look and you don't have to worry about your bag being super packed out or looking like it's packed out and have all that space that's not being utilized. So yeah, that's gonna do it for the Arclight Sling. Uh, look, overall, my final thoughts on this thing, it's gonna be a good bag for you for like daily carry. Uh, like I said, maybe a small overnight bag, but if you want a really cool like sling that like looks good, has good materials, gonna last, is comfortable, and you know, you're not looking for a ton of organization. If you're looking for a ton of organization, I'll go check out um, a different sling. The only one I can suggest, again, is the Psychop. I'm not just trying to say because I did a video. It's literally the only other sling I've ever used. But if you want something that has like more organization, this probably isn't gonna be the sling for you. But if you want like a big opening, place for your laptop, quick access, and a smaller pocket up front just to throw some stuff, then yeah, this is definitely gonna be a good sling. In motion, in use, this thing has been wonderful. I like the feel, I like the material, I like using it, I like pulling things out, I like putting things back in it. It all just feels really good to me. And for that, I give it a thumbs up. I don't have a rating system on this, so I don't know why I did that. But if you have any questions, comments, concerns, about the Arclight Sling, let me know in the comments below and I will do my very best to answer those for you. If there is a product you'd like me to get my hands on, do a review so you can see what it's like before you use it, let me know. Uh, you can email me, odmatthewsbags at gmail.com, it's in the description. Uh, let's have a chat. You know, I'm always up for chatting about stuff. I love talking to people and I'll talk to people about bags. Uh, check out Boundary Supply, doing lots of cool things. If you could leave this video a like, that helps out. Uh, a lot actually. Um, all of these new subscribers came in for me. Like, I think I was looking at my analytics, which you know I don't really have a lot of, but like, like forty something new subscribers in the last like couple weeks. So thank you so very much. I should have said this up top. Thank you so much for everybody that's new. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool. Awesome. <laughs> I just heard my dog walking walking by. Pitter pitter patter. Um, pitter patter. Let's get at her. So that is it for this week. Uh, and I will see you guys next week.